Well, I was wrong. Kinda. Hey everyone, Tim here. Uh, about, I don't know, several days ago, I put up a video where I went to Walmart specifically for the Steelbooks. So many of my friends and other content creators were posting videos and pictures of, of themselves at the Walmart seeing just tons of great Steelbooks. And I'm a big Steelbook guy. I love Steelbooks. So I was very, very excited seeing all these pictures. So we planned a trip out to go to what is predominantly our best Walmart in the area. We have like two pretty major ones. Like I live in the Scranton, Wilkesbury area and they call it that because those are the two biggest areas. One is in Scranton, well, Dixon City, Scranton, and the other one is Wilkesbury. The Wilkesbury one has traditionally been the better physical media one. So seeing all of this stuff from people, I went to that one for the physical media for the steel books, thinking that's going to be that's gonna be a, a honey hole. There's gonna be some good stuff there. And I got there and it was disappointing to say the least there was not much of of anything and i got some comments from people for different reasons where like there's in, in my thumbnail you see the white reset papers uh i checked those reset papers i checked all of the reset papers that were like at least posted none of them were for the steelbook area that's not to say the steelbook area won't come into play somewhere but that wasn't on any of the sheets. I checked that stuff. And then there were some other comments on, you know, maybe we should prop up uh, physical media from Walmart, which I have stuff to say on that at the end. But uh, anyways, because of my disappointment, my friends went on Saturday. While we, my wife and I were at Monster Mania, they went to the other one, the other major one that has not really been that good for physical media. Well... It was good this time. <laughs> it was good. Uh, so they recorded footage, and it's this is weird. It's a, it's an out hunting video without me actually out hunting. They recorded footage for me, and they brought me home movies. So we're gonna go through all of that, but I'm gonna let them intro, which I think is awesome. These are two amazing people. These are my best friends in the world past of obviously my wife is my best friend but uh these two people are right there with me like we're roommates this is just these are amazing people uh their stuff is gonna be down below both of them are trying to get a little bit more into content creation and things like that uh jess is a huge book person so she has a very avid uh bookstagram you call it and she wants to start up like youtube and then my friend Warren is huge for music and vinyl and things like that. So both amazing people. And they did an out hunting video for me. That's cool. So they're going to intro and then we're going to go over this together on what they actually found. Hi everyone. Warren and Jess here. We're outside Walmart right now filling in for Tim. So let's go take a look and see what they got. Tim will take over from here on voiceover, but we just wanted to say hi and do the intro for you. All right. So we're going to watch this footage together. Uh, I, I was shocked, like I said, that they took this this footage. It, if you do not do this, uh, it it's takes something to film in stores. Uh, people look at you. It's it's a it's a something to overcome, especially if you're more like introvert or whatever. But uh, they did that. They filmed this for me, and look at this shit. There's steel books. There is a lot of steel books, man. Uh, if you watched my other video. None of this, not one of these was actually at that other one. And what's really funny about this, oh, that dragon heart is so freaking nice. Uh, so nice. <laughs> but uh, I, they were there on Tuesday. Tuesday, they picked up a steelbook. None of this stuff was there. They went there on Saturday and there's all of this now. So somewhere in that Tuesday from when they left to Saturday, they set all of this up, uh, which is awesome. I'm super happy to see this. Uh, tons of steelbooks, guys. That Little Monsters is great. Uh, Freaking weird steelbook. I st that is not in the pile of stuff they got me. I will have to grab that. But this was very encouraging to see. I had fun at Monster Mania, and I would pick that over going to a Walmart. But I'm going to have to make my own trip to this Walmart to look through the movies. Uh, because, damn, man. 
that Magnificent Seven is is fantastic. There is there's great there's actually steel books here, and they have the Lionsgate steel books too. The the repress stuff. I think that's awesome. I like more people getting accessibility to some of the like really out of print ones like American Psycho. I'm not a recent. Ooh, Wonka. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool that the Wonka's actually there. But uh, yeah, I'm not about resale of it. Like I don't care about that. So I just I'm happy more people get the opportunity to pick up some of these very out of print Lionsgate ones. I think that's a good thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, screw resale. I really don't care about the resale. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we also have a get a stacked TV selection. The TV selection wasn't even this in the store. I've posted videos of this store in the past on my channel, and it was none of this. So <laughs> they did quite a bit in that Tuesday to Saturday time range. So kudos to Scranton, Dixon City, uh, Walmart. You, you did a good job because this is impressive. I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to have to make my own trip there. Not that I'm expecting it to grow even more in the, a short span, but... It's always nice to look at the stuff in person versus the video but at least the, they took good video that gave me a really good idea what's there these are uh these are amazing friends though like how many friends are gonna gonna take the footage for you for a youtube channel and then buy you a stack of movies because they bought me a stack we're, we're gonna be going through that they didn't just pick me up one uh yeah <laughs> so this is cool. Some some of these are just the kind of shitty Walmart DVDs, but eh, I mean, people buy some of those. I I mean, obviously buy quite a bit of those. Those aren't really my cup of tea. Some of those like low budgety horror things from Walmart. That's not really my my jam. But they had the Steel Books. Complete series of Kung Fu is pretty cool though, and uh. This right here is the end of the footage that they took. So next up, may as well show you the stuff that they picked up for me, which super, super grateful. Super, super grateful. Uh, they picked me up the Brawl in Cell Block 99 uh, 4K Steelbook. I got rid of the Blu-ray because I intended to upgrade to this, and I did now upgrade to this thanks to them. Got the I Know What You Did Last Summer. I already have... Uh, right here i already have that but i'm also a steel book guy so it's just the way i am uh, <laughs> but oh well got the hollow man that's a nice one and that's a darn good movie anaconda i haven't seen this in so freaking long this is a this is a fun movie uh i know bob bob's blue rice loves this one uh i haven't seen it in a long ass time though kickboxer this was on my like hey if you're gonna pick me up something kickboxer was on my list that is a super nice steel book and then the one that was pretty much at like the top of my list that i asked for was this magnificent seven steel book which is so nice uh obviously these are all wrapped still but uh i'm gonna be opening them up soon but that's what awesome friends picked me up freaking six steel books from a pretty well loaded walmart that makes my other video look kind of stupid but i mean it, <laughs> when you make i always make my videos with the intention to find stuff i'm excited to go like my videos never intend at the start to be negative on anything when i walk into a walmart i want to find the steel books like that is my goal my goal is not to walk in and find nothing so if it comes across negative it's because i'm disappointed like this stuff is actually it's filmed in the heat of the moment like i'm filming it as i'm finding it uh i didn't go scout the location and then film it i don't think like any of us that do this stuff do that it's all heat of the moment you're excited and or disappointed it goes along with it uh this is all just kind of for fun and kind of taking you along for the ride. And sometimes that ends in disappointment. And sometimes my disappointment will show on screen. <laughs> it, it, I know some people might not like it, but I mean, it's just, 
it's just the way it is. I mean, I, I don't walk into every store all giddy with the results. Sometimes I walk out with nothing, and sometimes that's disappointing. I did, though, want to touch on... There was two comments. Well, one person commented and another person responded. I kind of wanted to touch on those because I totally get where they were coming from. But the basic gist of the comments were to... Maybe I should be more happy and supportive of Walmart and not criticize them the because there was nothing there I shouldn't have been critical because Walmart took over for Best Buy they are now they are a huge chunk of the physical media retail market maybe we should just be happy that they're here they don't they shouldn't get the criticism my I, and that makes sense on a surface level and I get where people would be coming from it for me though no, uh, no. Walmart, Amazon, any of these gigantic corporations that are doing the physical media still are doing this because they see a monetary reason to do it. They're not doing this because they feel bad for physical media people or anything like that. They're in it for the dollar bills. They're, they have to earn your business. That, that's it. They're trying to earn your business. And exclusive steelbooks are a good way to get people in stores. And they will get me in stores for the exclusive steelbooks. I don't like the concept of exclusive steelbooks. I wish it was like kind of like the Paramount steelbooks that are just everywhere. And I could decide where I would rather buy it from. But that's not the world we live in. There are exclusive steelbooks. Walmart is a major player in that. So I will be shopping at Walmart for the exclusive steelbooks. I personally don't opt to give Walmart my money on a lot of the just standard stuff because I would rather buy it from an Orbit DVD, a Diabolic DVD, a uh, Bull Moose. Uh, the list goes on and on. Just like a little bit smaller places that kind of are a major pillar of propping this all up to like the little companies, little mom and pop places are places I would rather support if I can then support a Walmart or an Amazon. That's not saying I will never buy from Amazon or Walmart. Sometimes I do. <laughs> I mean, it just is what it is. But I am not just because Walmart is 50% of the physical media market going to go rah-rah Walmart and shopping all of my physical media there or ignoring any criticism. Like, Walmart ships stuff like steelbooks and whatnot I've gotten from them. It shipped terribly. Like, they're not off-the-hook criticism because they ship shitty. Uh, same thing goes with anything for any major corporation. If they're not doing a good job on something, they're not free of criticism. I'm happy that they're supporting physical media, and I'm happy people are happy that they took over for Best Buy. But I personally am not just going to blindly support a company just for the sheer sake of them being 50% of the market. Uh, if they're going, if they do a great job, they will get a great job. Kudos. They got a great job. Kudos here on that. The one that actually had steelbooks. I'm happy about that, but that does not mean their criticism free of criticism. Otherwise, like do a good job. You'll get kudos. You do a bad job. You won't. And in general, yes, I would rather spend my money at a smaller place if I can. They'll get my money on exclusive steelbooks. Regular releases, they're probably not going to. Not that often. Uh, I guess it depends how much I really want it that second. Uh, but in general, I try not to support those big giant companies if I can. Uh, so that is all I have on this. Uh, thank you for watching that last Walmart video. If you're watching this one and overall just try to understand anyone that goes out in a hunting video it's all spur of the moment anything they say or do it's all in the heat of the moment reaction to what's happening if it doesn't play out on screen like you would like they're a different person than you everyone reacts different and that's just kind of how these videos play out unless they legit go script the thing beforehand it's all heat of the moment all of it uh, so that, that's all I have though. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.